In this tutorial, I'll show you how we can create this beautiful image hover effect in your WordPress website by using Elementor Pro. So here after hovering on these images, you can see this angled overlay with this awesome border animation and this image is also moving a little bit top with this box shadow under that, which makes it feel like a 3 d movement. Ok, so without further ado, let's see how can we achieve that. So here I have started everything from scratch, but if you want to get this cool effect as a ready made template, you can also get this on my Gumroad shop only for $2.99. So here after downloading this template, you can get a JSON file like this. So you just need to go to your page and go to this template upload option and just drag this JSON file to here. And you can get a template like this angle image hover effect let's just insert this and you can get this image hover effect and it's also responsive for our tablet and mobile devices and if you want to change any of this content you just need to go to this navigator view and from here you can change all of these images all of this text each and everything even if you want to change this yellow overlay color, you can just need to go to this section settings and here I will give all of these options. If you want to make it to white, we can do that or if you want to change this border width, we can also change that. Ok, but here if you also don't want to get this template, you can also start it from scratch. So I just want to delete this section and here let's click on this plus icon and create a three column layout and first of all I want to make this section side to full height so make the minimum height to 100 vh and inside this first column let's take an image and upload an image from here from this style let's also give it a height and width 100% and give the height to 450 pixel and when you make a fixed height, don't forget to make this object fit to cover to maintain this aspect ratio. And lastly also give some border radius. So after this image, to create our overlay, we also need a divider widget. So let's drag this to here. And from the style, I want to give its height by using this weight option. Let's make this gap to 0. And to place this above this image, we need to go to its positioning settings and make its position to absolute. And from each side, let's also give some margin and also change this black color. So after that, to add this text, let's also take an image box widget, drag this under here. And here I don't need this image, so let's delete this. I just want to change this text. From the style, let's also change this text color, make it to black and also for this description, make it to black. From this typography, let's change this font to pop pins, increase the font size and also make the white to more bold, text transform to all uppercase and also give some line height. Let's also give some space between that from here. Ok, now like this overlay, I also want to place this to here. So again go its position settings and make it to absolute and make this vertical offset to 50%. But here when we make this 50%, this image box's top section start from 50%. But here I want to place its middle to the middle of this image. So for this, here we also need to write some custom code. And by the way, to use this custom CSS feature, you have to have the Elementor Pro. So if you didn't have Elementor Pro, you can quickly get this from my link on the description. So let's write down that. And now it's positioned to this middle. And here you also don't need to worry about this code snippet. I will give all of the code snippet link to my website. From here, you just need to copy and paste this code. Okay, so right now I also want to give some padding with this text. Now that looks perfect. And here you notice this image box is still positioned a little bit bottom. This is because the margin of these widgets. So if you go to this column settings and make this widget space to zero, now it's perfectly aligned to the middle. Now to achieve our effect, first of all I want to go to this divider widget settings 
and here initially i want to make this color to fully transparent and when i hover over on that i only want to show this overlay and also this text so for this here we need to go to the section settings and from this custom css we need to paste some more code okay now if we hover over on this we can see this cool effect that's really cool and here for this divider i forget to make this border radius so from the navigator if we go to this divider widget settings let's give some border radius okay now that looks perfect and here for this column i also want to give some margin so make it to 10. now let's just duplicate this column and delete this remaining empty column and from here if you want to change this text you can also do that from here and here you can see this image widget from here you can also change this and by following this let's also quickly change this so now everything looks good and lastly i want to check this for our tablet and mobile devices so let's go to this tablet device and here i want to make all of this column to full width so make it to 100 percent and also give some top and bottom padding for this section and then let's also check this for our mobile devices on mobile we need to reduce the height of this image and here you can see i have already reduced the height of this overlay so here if we go to this custom css code at the very bottom you can see we have set the mobile overlay height from here and for this image we also need to reduce that so make it to 380 pixel and for this image box let's also reduce the heading size so from this style make it to 40 and also reduce the spacing between them and make the changes for the other two images so that's how you can create this awesome angle card effect on your elementor website if you enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video